Hi guys, welcome back and today uh, I want to take a look at a create a side slope comment in Trimble Business Center. What it actually is, is um, if you have a line and you have a surface and let's say you need to create a berm which is a complicated shape, you know, flat, down, down, whatever. Uh, the way I used to do it before was either I created a corridor or I have played with the offset of lines. Now you don't have to do neither, but here is the create side slope. So I have prepared a quick surface here. Uh, it's not pretty or whatever, but hey, it is a surface, right? And then I have prepared a quick line which I have draped on the surface and for the purpose of this um, uh, demo here or this um, session I am going to take and I'm going to change that uh, uh, elevation by 4 meters uh, up so when we create our berms it's going to tie into our uh, surface there so uh, we're gonna run the uh, create side slope uh, this uh, comment from the uh, data prep uh, toolbar and let's just hit that and as you can see it opens a create pack it's gonna ask us for a master line so we're gonna click our master line we don't have any reference lines and the uh, reference lines is uh, Okay, I have some notes here. Uh, so, uh, and it obviously doesn't say any anything about the reference line. It says from the master box, pick a line you want to use it to offset slope slopes. Uh, the beginning station. Uh, obviously how you draw the line that's gonna be the beginning at this point we don't care so we're gonna do 0 plus 0 and it's asking us for a definition of our berm so since I have none I'm gonna do a, a new definition I want to take this opportunity to make sure that you guys like the video and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe for more videos you know check out the channel and all the other stuff in the description so side slope layer is obviously um, a layer where we're gonna have our side slopes object so I'm just gonna create one uh, FD side slope so we can um, see and line layer is according to their help is uh, where the new offset lines are gonna be placed. So I'm just gonna do FD um, offset lines. And that way we can see what put. Sampling distance, sampling distance is uh, interval between offset lines. So let's do, I don't even know what how long this line is. So let's go properties. Um, this line is about two kilometers. Okay, so we can go easily 20 meters. And template name, uh, test template, just for... We're gonna call it test template, just for fun of it. Uh, we're gonna hit insert. What this is gonna do it opens a corridor template and we can um, design our berm let's say so I'm gonna go offset elevation my offset is gonna be let's make it uh, one meter and elevation zero I'm gonna add and as you can see it kind of starts building it up and then I'm gonna go uh, offset slope and so I'm gonna go go two meters add one to one slope add oh 
and I don't want to go up necessarily so I'm gonna change that to minus slope ratio okay minus one to one so it's it, it actually went down and then I'm gonna go uh, uh, with the side slope so I'm gonna tie it into my original gun round and I'm gonna go three to one actually cut slope is gonna be, oh yeah cut slope no ditch and three two one for the fill in case i have auto tie direction and here we go did that work oh it's working okay so <clears throat> i'm gonna change that from three to one one two three so it's uh kind of more that way So hopefully we we have that. Now the next step I want to do is I'm gonna mirror the instructions. So my berm or whatever I created there um, is gonna be symmetrical to my line. And as you can see, it already built the line work out here. And let's see if it uh, it didn't build the surface just yet. But if I hit close we got our berm built here nicely so as you can see nice tie in line and everything let's take a look at the properties so this is on the offset lines and side slope lines there is not much there so i guess now what i can do i can do a surface out of these lines and it, uh, this is gonna be like let's say berm and hit OK. Hmm. Not necessarily happy with this one. Uh, let's run that again and see if, if I missed something here. Uh, so under data prep, we're gonna go create side slope master line. I'm gonna turn those lines off. I'm gonna hit the master line is this again station new definition from file definition. Hmm. I'm just wondering why it didn't create the surface. saying that the as soon as the sound center is defined the side slope lines are created in the model side slope templates do not appear in the project okay so it, they do not appear okay so it doesn't create the surface automatically so as I mentioned uh, I can create that surface However, I would have to clean it up nicely, right? So create surface burn and hit OK. And then I'm just going to trim this. Uh, technically, I can just take this or this line and this line and join them. and uh, hit properties and close it my surface obviously here it's gonna be a little bit wonky but let's take a quick peek so we have a nice berm surface here and it, it kind of follows the line now there are some prerequisites for this um, as you can see oops um no join line join let me turn that one on um data prep create slope um so uh 
if you would do surface tie it would go uh, directly uh, one but we can kind of break it down so that we would um, So let's just see if we can um, view license features uh, and see what you're gonna need to utilize this. Oh, it just it doesn't. Okay. Never mind. I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay. So this would be this nice. Um, Comment called create site slope uh, without utilizing um, corridors. So quick and easy creating, and as you can see, it does the job nicely. So if if I were to put in the original ground and let's say let's hit. Um, uh, in a 3D view, let's do my material. Right, so you, you can nicely see how I basically created this nice um, surface along the along the my original surface if I wanted to make sure that this is all nice and then the so i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next one